Welcome everybody to the Monday, April 1st meeting of the Conway Select Board and at 6.30 it will be a joint meeting of the Select Board and Finance Committee. The meeting is being recorded on FCAT and by Zoom on the town website. Um, if for any reason those cease to function, the meeting will continue live. Uh, call the meeting to order. First item, voting to approve the minutes is not, the minutes are not available to approve. So table that till next week. There are no warrants. Meetings attended by select board. None for me since last meeting. None since last meeting. A number of school related meetings, um, uh, as well as a meeting with uh, uh, FCAT to discuss possible senior transportation, not FCAT, FERTA, <laughs> Franklin Regional Transportation Authority, and the director, the administrator and director to uh, discuss possible grant for senior transportation. Um, kind of a really neat thing. So, um, public comments, anybody? No one finished business. First item, discussion and vote on the three-year software contract for accountant and treasurer. Um, everybody has seen that? Yeah. Um, I'm happy to go over the accounting budget in the omnibus if you want me to explain it a little bit more. But it's part of the accounting budget. Correct. Right. Well, okay. so right. the thing is it's split up. So if you look at the quote there, um, I know it says quantity three. That's supposed to be three years. If it gets signed tonight, we'll put on there three equals three years. <laughs> Um, or something to that effect. So the first one is for the subscription. The second one is a one-time implementation fee, so that won't come into effect after the first year. Then the hosting fee, because of course we have to put it on a server somewhere, so they'll host it for us. Then the last two, the cash management and the payroll, are ones that um, the treasurer already has in her budget. So these were all quoted as one service from the company for the town. And we approved those previously, mm -hmm. too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess the question would be, <clears throat> if they're all annual, why are some quantity of three and some <laughs> not? I know. So that would be my thing, too. We have to amend the language in there to make it clear mm -hmm. that what we're signing up for is a three-year contract, although yep. the description of two of those items would yes. make it appear to be one year. So, right. um, yeah. so that would, you know, I know, you know this is very, very important to our town treasurer and accountant. This is, this is the software they want. This is the software that they can cite chapter and verse about how much money it saves the town. Mm -hmm. And um, we budgeted many, for it as well. And, mm -hmm. and we budget for it and how many extra things it does besides just what it says it does. Um, so, I mean, if you approve of this, you could also, it doesn't necessarily have to be the select board. I can sign it if you grant me the authority to so I can get the language changed so that it's broken out by year and then just sign if the board approves. Or you can vote to have you sign, and when we get a change, then until you can just sign. Six and one half dozen the other, if you ask me. I'm fine with having Veronique sign the contract. Yeah. Just, yeah, we just need. Okay, I move to have Veronique sign the contract for Zobrio um, for our accounting and tax once assessment. The, once the changes payroll. that we discussed right. have been made to reflect it is a three year agreement. I'll second that motion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Good. Yeah. Discussion and a vote on public safety building bids. Gentlemen. Okay. Yeah. Well, our chairs were not are not here tonight, so I'll speak on behalf of the committee. Uh, we voted unanimously to reject all the bids. Uh, the primary reason turned out to be that the person who we all expected to be the excavator, the highway superintendent, felt that he could no longer commit to definitely doing that to some unresolved issues with the select board. So that would completely change the scope of the project for the bidders. So 
So we felt as a committee we had no choice but to reject at this time. Do you have a recommendation to the select board as to how? I <laughs> recommend a select board resolve the issue. That's a good recommendation. Um, we did ask uh, that the highway superintendent he was unable to say he's out of town tonight. But um, we'll be asking that he come in next week to discuss this stuff. Uh, see how we can make things better. See how I can make things better. <clears throat> well, I spent a couple hours that I will not get back in my life watching the meetings of the select board. And in my personal opinion, some of these issues should be taken care of in executive sessions, not in an open meeting. Some of these may appear to be financial issues or personality issues or personnel issues. Those should be dealt with, in my opinion, after 33 years of working with a new municipality as a department head in executive session. We're able to amend the issue with using the town employee for the excavation. What's the unfortunate work you have to redo? Can you can you then look at a bid to accept that you know you accept? You have to go over the process. Well, the committee again? will committee will have to meet again and address it. Okay. So the language of the bid is 45 days to re accept or reject once. It's been opened, so the clock started ticking when? March 20th at 2 o'clock. Does the board understand why it has to be rebuilt? Without an excavator, the scope of the project changes, so that portion of the work was not in the bid documents. So we have an incomplete project. As somebody once said, we can't do anything until we get a hole in the ground. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't, it, it can't start. So 45 days from March 20th. So it's about the end of April. Right. I'll check on the exact date. by the clock ticking. I mean, it's for doing what? Well, we, we, we haven't officially rejected any bids. Oh, I see. The right. here. And the third paragraph, I see. Yeah, 45 consecutive right. days. So, so what I hear is that if the issue is resolved to everyone's satisfaction, then the okay. committee would, would have to re, would re, 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 reconvene and, and vote again. Yeah. If, if something changes, yeah. Right, but you're going to have to reopen the bid process. You have bids already on the table. So you would just have to reconvene the committee to review those bids, correct? Okay. Do we have a rough idea of what the excavation cost would be? Well, I do not. You mean by an outside contractor or internally? We don't even we don't know that number either, do we? Uh, twenty five thousand. Yeah. It's around about plus twenty five. Internally. In internal. You can triple that. Okay. If it's not internal. At least triple it. I just want to thank you all for your work on this project. I really appreciate it. It's a lot of work <laughs> and it's, <laughs> it's a labor of love and I have faith that 
it's going to end up. <laughs> We're going to have a, a decent public safety building. But I, I really appreciate all of your work on this project. Else? Sorry for the additional aggravation. <laughs> Discussion and long awaited, the, the long awaited words were an editorial comment um, on highway superintendent stipend bonus for flood related work. Anything anybody else to say? What is the number that we are proposing? 20,000. I am happy to have discussion, but I feel like we've discussed this a lot. I would like to make a motion that we. Um, compensate our highway superintendent in the amount of $20,000 for um, the work that he did above and beyond his contract for flood remediation um, from the July 2023 20, storm. The work that was already completed. Uh, I second, yes. second your motion. All in favor? Aye. 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 It's unanimous. Discussion and vote to sign the letter of support for Ashfield's MVP project on Ashfield Lake Dam. Bernie. So this is, um, I met with Ron Kohler from Ashfield. Um, We're lucky he's still involved. Yeah. So. Um, is he the one who sent the video? Yes. 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 <laughs> yes. So that was, um, that was a video of eight inches of water going across the sluice during the July storm. The dam has been repaired, as you know, and it can actually accommodate up to 48 inches. Uh, I'm sorry, four feet. Four feet. No, that's 48 inches. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. <laughs> um, so, and if it goes above that, then then it starts to attack the earthworks, and then you could have a problem. So right now there is a manual; it's locked, but there's a manual sluice opening that you know just gets cranked um, so that they can um, lower it to let water out. What they try to do is let water out in advance when they have advance warning. They'll let it down so that they can capture more water when it actually rains. Um, so what this MVP grant is for is for automating that because as it turns out, um, if you've been up there, we, we did do a tour up there, that those controls which have to be done manually are outside right at the dam. And it's a little dangerous for somebody in bad weather to be out there doing this manually. So their grant is to get it to be an automatic one that they can do from inside remotely. So that's what they're looking for, a letter of support from the board for this MVP project. That sounds like a no-brainer. Yeah. <laughs> I support <laughs> Ashfield so being better able to regulate the water flow downstream yeah. to Conway. There was two, last time I talked to Ron Kohler, there was a, the, the, the thing was the addition, the next grant thing was, going, was also going to ask for an automated alarm or automated alert. I believe they're doing that part as part of that, yeah. yeah that's what I thought, Yeah, but I didn't see that in here. Um, um, I think it's in there. And he did offer, by the way, you know, once budget season's over and everything's calmed down, to come in and just discuss with the board what's going on with the dam. So if you want to have him in for a discussion at Be some point. Because the, the various safety studies that were done, the various what-if studies that were done, and FERCOC did a big one in like 2012, that was based on the old dam, mm -hmm. the new dam, once when they added two feet or whatever, they added to the impoundment capability, that like almost doubled the volume of water that the, that the and makes a dam failure like way more dangerous even than it was before. Mm -hmm. um, so the, I wanted somebody to take a look at, at, to redo that study based on the new numbers with the additional huge amount of water. Um, mm -hmm. Because 
the important part of that study was it, it, they clocked when the floods would get to what part of Conway, and that was really important for our first responders to know. Mm -hmm. um, and and also uh, they um, at, at about the release of the water. Um, we want them to release the water on the forecast before it starts raining. That's what they're doing. Yeah. They've been doing that. Yeah, they've been, they've been doing that. Really, they, yeah. they messed up once, though, like during this whole thing. And they re released it right when it was like flooding and raining, and they could have released it on the forecast, and it made it worse. <coughs> well, in any case, at some point, if, if the board would like, I'd be happy to set it up so that, you know, Ron yeah. Kohler comes in and can answer all these questions. Yeah, we can take a field trip. That yeah. sounds fun. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm with Eric on that one. Yeah, um, yeah. definitely. Yeah, but uh, yeah. Uh, in warmer weather? Yeah, warmer weather. <laughs> We're yes. there. Maybe not in July. Yeah. We're there. So yeah, okay. um, but um, I, I definitely support this proposal. So. Okay. So, um, okay. All right, make a motion then. Make a yeah. motion to sign a letter of support for Ashfield's MVP project on the Ashfield Lake Dam. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, Aye. so I will put this on letterhead and get it to you for signature. Okay. Thank you. All right, discussion on potential for new transportation services to FERTA. So, um, the, I've been wanting to do senior transportation in this town for years, because um, there is none. Um, or what, li there, there is the ability to participate in the existing senior transportation um, to medical appointments through Shelburne, uh, but that's really limited and uh, it only goes to certain places, and you have to. You need 72 hours advance notice, and um, they, it has to. It only works when there's more than one p person going to near the same place at the same time. Um, and the only grocery shopping that they offer is the one that's subsidized by Big Y and goes to Big Y on Thursdays, but only when there's enough people for the van to go on Thursdays. Mm -hmm. um, and so, FERTA had always, I mean, the solution to this problem, FERTA had always sort of been an afterthought until I had the good fortune of meeting with, um, um, with the director on Thursday. And um, it turns out that they have, in their grant, operating grant, there was, uh, I don't know, 15 or something thousand dollars left over for this fiscal year, which there's six more months left in it. Um, and they want to do a pilot. They're open to, um, my she's very open to my suggestion to do a pilot program just for Conway. And it would be similar to what I, I don't know if I talked to you guys about this, a, an Uber for Conway seniors, basically. Um, and the, it would be, individual volunteers from t that would be paid a modest hourly stipend as very modest as well as the mileage at the going IRS rate uh, to pick up and it would be through um, FERTA they would have to call FERTA for the ride the, the compensation to the driver might have to go through the town it might be directly from FERTA um, uh, 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 but if it goes through the town it would be reimbursed so, um, so we might need a revolving fund for that, but the, um, the, the, it was interesting enough that I got Veronique on a conference call with her the next day on Friday, and we spent a good, good hour talking to her about these things, I think, close to it, and um, it's, the, 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 they're not sure whether the language of their grant would restrict us to doing just grocery and medical appointments no just medical or just medical just the medical yeah. and or you know my 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 vision for something like this is that in order to really make it possible for seniors to be in their homes as long as possible after they can no longer use their own vehicle which in Conway traditionally has meant once you can no longer you you use your own vehicle or drive you go to a nursing home and that that is the one thing that puts our seniors into nursing homes and so my thing has been, like, it's not enough just to go grocery shopping or medical appointments. 
you also have to be able to do the basic things to keep your quality of life. You have to be able to go shop, clothes shopping. You have to be able to get household goods, you, like things like that. You have to be able to go to the bank, stuff like that. Um, so that's my, and she's checking on all of those things. And then even if the grant language might have those uh, restrictions, whether it's possible to apply for a waiver, since this is such a unique kind of a setup. And um, I already have two volunteers that um, heard me talking about this just once and volunteered. Um, to drive. To drive. We, um, the really, five is sort of the magic number. Um, if you know anybody, if you would be interested in doing it in your spare time. Um, I mean, I think this is a great way to help people. Um, and it's something that's really sorely needed. And the people that need it really, really need it. And uh, so. So the volunteers would, um, obviously they'd have to be quarry checked and that their vehicles would have to be vetted through FERTA. Um, and then the insurance, their insurance has to have enough coverage because it goes to the driver's insurance first and then FERTA has umbrella insurance that covers after that. Um, and they- so Do you have an insurance number? I'm sorry? You know what the number is? No. She didn't know that she either. She no. didn't think that it was that, anything more than what people normally carry, um, especially homeowners. Uh, uh, if you volunteer to drive like to a school event, drive the kids down to the hood plant or something, you know, where they go on a chore. Right. You know, I think the number was over three hundred thousand, and, and 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 that was in the old days. So I don't really know what it would be yeah, now, but it was more than a lot of people normally carry, mm -hmm. but yeah. not that much more expensive if you know mm -hmm. to get it. Yeah. Uh, so so you those get out of field trips when your kids are in school. <laughs> you just say, I don't have, <laughs> I don't have the insurance. <laughs> well, I can't drive to Plymouth. I love going on the field trips. <laughs> I like going to the hood plant. They're fun tours. <laughs> yeah, so I. Um, She'll send us those details. Um, yeah. Another thought yeah. was to perhaps do some sort of survey of seniors because this would just be like a six-month pilot, right? For the right. Grant. So that's it's that's not, the important. Yeah. So if so, because of the nature of our town and how geographically dispersed it is, and how there's 1,800 residents that actually get their information in 1,800 different ways, um, and and how you know. Even sending out a survey, even having the request for information in the Conway, et cetera, et cetera, you're only, you're only reaching a fragment of the population, and of that fragment, only a fragment will, will respond. Has um, this been discussed with the, the council? Center? The, yeah. the Council of Aging on Thursday, yeah. I got to discuss, um, we got to discuss this. this. This morning was the foot clinic here, and yeah. I can tell you it was a topic. Or yes, or, or it was a, yes. So. I'm, I'm sure it was. I'm sure it was. And, and you know, and I told I, and the, when I left off with Pat Lynch, the, the chair, the, um, on Thursday late morning, I said, you know, really got to nail down the the details on this and to see whether it's feasible. I mean, it made but, me wonder, you know, how flexible you can be because could you bring people from their house to the foot clinic? Yes. Just for, yes. Yeah, I mean, just that that was explicitly just, part of just that distance yeah, is big. Yes. Yeah, yeah hundred percent. That was one of the things that is even under the existing restrictions. You can go. You can bring residents round trip from any part of town to the senior center or any senior related formal activities that the town hosts, oh, great. Um, as well as senior centers in neighboring towns and, um, yeah. So if they're willing to do a pilot with us, is the challenge really getting enough volunteers? Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, that one of the, and to that, that over time, you know, something like this would work over time, that word spreads, and that, you know, that it wouldn't be, the success of it would not be judged in month one, it would be judged in month six. Mm -hmm. But what, what but, um, and she, you know, the Fertha thinks that starting like by like late May is not out of the question. Um, and the idea would be to demonstrate, by its success or you being used, demonstrate the need for it, and then we would be part of a town and, and Ferto would purchase a van and um, you know pay a driver. Maybe we um, can lean on the Council of Aging to get the word out that we need volunteers. Yeah, um, and I haven't 
I'll, I'll, be, I'll be talking to them at their meeting Wednesday. Yeah, I did ask if Tina Cody that we were speaking with, the director of FERDA, and, and you know, I mentioned that our deadline for the next occurrence is April 15th, and if we could put something in there calling for volunteers and we would be able to spell out all the details at that point, that, that would be really helpful. Sounds Sorry. like the foot clinic is the place to be yeah. to get the <laughs> word out. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. The foot clinic is amazing, yeah. but I, I try not to tell people that because it, it just makes it harder and harder to get an appointment. It's open to anybody. You don't have to be in Yeah. <laughs> I, I think it's a great idea. I do have the questions about like uh, the restrictions and whatnot because it's it is like Uber, which is great. And but the uh, the way it's not like Uber is an Uber drops you off and leaves. Yeah, you know the yeah. driver yeah. here would have to wait. You know, so well, or could drive off and pick somebody else up. Right, true. Not right. even right. if it was local, yeah. but yeah. if you're going to and like that, no, right, right, right. the way it's yeah. set up in other towns is that the, the driver rarely waits. The driver usually goes pick somebody else, to, and that there, because it is a public, you know, it, you, you, the the expectation of users of the service is that it's sort of like a public transportation where you do wait on the train, you do wait on the bus, you do wait on the plane, etc., um, and that. The expectation that it would be instantaneous at your door, the precise second that you're ready for it, um, is something that you, yeah, that you don't want to. Like DoorDash. Yeah. Um, yes. But but that the whole, but that for for the pilot program, this would be a service that the town, in my opinion, is desperately needed forever. Um, it would not cost the town government a, a penny, and it would not burden town administration or the town administrator with any further additional responsibility. That's like a... Well, that's all true. So that's like... Yeah, own, I know. Like that's I'm like interested, a, very a, interesting. a municipal yeah. trifecta. Yeah. Um, and, um, and then if the, the need is met, if there is a need, they would buy a van, they would pay a driver, um, and the service would be expanded into a more or less full, full on thing. So... Let's get the and, word out. Yeah, kind of like super more. psyched about this and it was... Um, Something that I hadn't thought FERTA would be the answer to our dilemma. One thing that I like about uh, about the I'll say, I'll say the foot clinic, just as an example. I mean, it, it's very popular, but several, quite a few of the seniors really love helping organize it. Yeah, y you know, taking reservations yes. or calling people up or checking on things, and that same thing could be used here. I mean, if somebody from the senior center could arrange to say, "What's a good day for us all to go?" food shopping at Big Y, even if it's Thursday, or maybe it doesn't have to be, but could arrange for four or five people to, to drive and, together. And I did bring that up with, with Tina that we have, we have a group of people that like to participate in the administration of these services. Yes. And that one of the things that they did not like about the proposed joining of the South County Senior Center was that everything would be Every, every service that we offer would then be delivered through, the, even ones in this town, people would be, instead of calling, you know, um, Peggy for the reservation for the foot clinic. Pat Cocock. Uh, Pat Cocock. Um, and, and um, you know, you, that you would, have, you would have to call South County Senior, et cetera, et cetera. Mm -hmm. And FERTA is set up. They have people, they have, you know, people in a switchboard. They have people, whatever, they're set up to do this. And you know, her, her response was that if you have a, a roster of drivers and someone calls and they say they want transportation in an hour, like you get to, within parameters, you get to make the rules for your own program. We would then go through that roster and see who's available to pick them up in an hour. It doesn't, you, it's not, it wouldn't have to be like the existing FERTA service where it's a 72 hour, whatever, um, you know, and because and, and, they have to arrange for a driver to leave from Greenfield or Shelburne or whatever, so it's a whole big thing. So when you just when it's just our town, it becomes easier to be more nimble in the services that you offer. I wonder if we could bring people to the polls using that. The people that want to vote. <laughs> that's a, uh, that's a really good idea too. Give them a free lunch too. Well, some states is probably I don't really know. Either. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that's good. Not really. Yeah. Especially Highland Flurry. We've organized here in Conway. Especially Highland Flurry. You can't do the water. Yeah. No, that's what you mean. Yeah. 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 Ye
I know they used to do that for years in Springfield and Greenfield. The ward bosses would organize transportation for the block. Um, so I, so that's, to me, I, I was kind of excited about this because it's something that we needed for a long time. And great. There's, um, it's fortuitous that there's money left over in their budget and all we got to do is show support for the town. We we'll also have to be busy to try to make sure it gets used. That's the key thing. Because, you know, when they, when the politicians got the train extended out of Greenfield going north and south, you know, for a long time, nobody still took the train. And yeah. It took a while for it to pick up. Yeah, they had a parking mm -hmm. They had a place to park the cars they, on the That would be good. <laughs> well, they do have it now. But yeah. For a start, they didn't. And the Greenfield Police would give people tickets after a half hour of parking across from the older transit center. That didn't help either. No, it didn't. I got one of those. <laughs> <laughs> Five dollar tickets. Just pay them. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't pay taxes in Greenfield. I pay my parking tickets. <laughs> <laughs> so, so that's the news on that. I thought that was a big deal. Yeah. And um, I just yeah. like so. Because it's doable, it's achievable. It's like at hand. It's nice. Um, it's six thirty. Six thirty. All right, we ready for joint meeting? You want to call your meeting to order? I call the finance committee meeting to order. And we're going to have two. You want to call the personal? Uh, capital improvements. Capital improvements. Mm -hmm. Calling the capital improvements meeting to order. Second. Do you want a motion to approve the minutes from the 25th? This one requires, I make a motion to approve the meeting minutes from the March 25th Finance Committee. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. Here we are. Right right here. There. He's home, but he's not. Two. He hasn't tuned in yet. He's usually here a little Okay. So, um, before you before you get into regularly scheduled business, uh, we do have under the rubric of items not anticipated 48 hours in advance of the meeting, mm -hmm. Friday late afternoon, um, the superintendent of schools submitted uh, capital request <coughs> for the schools. Did you see that? Yeah, yeah. So, is this um, just for Conway? Conway? This is for Conway Grammar. Conway Grammar, yeah. Um, prior to that, there had been no capital requests for Conway Grammar. So, uh, I didn't even, <laughs> what? What? I didn't even know that, that uh, the, some of the capital requests would come, you know, I, I thought it was just restricted to those departments. I'm, I was kind of surprised to see one coming from the school. And I understand that there's be, that capital request involves buildings as well, and all departments. I just thought that would, this would be a separate entity to the school the, budget. The school actually, the school committee voted years ago to for for defined term. The cap a capital is in the school budget. A capital request is anything more than five thousand oh. dollars. Okay. That's it. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Yeah. So that's um, standard that has the life of a certain amount of time period as well. Well, the yeah. assumption is if it becomes capital, then it, it's got to be amortized. Yes. Right. Yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah. That's exactly right. Um, so $5,000 of the paint is not a capital request. But well, it's usually a single item over $5,000. Yes. $5, yes. Mm -hmm. yes. So, um, I thought the school had their own capital budget. They do. Yeah. So that's part of this. Yeah. Um, but it, the town still has to vote yeah. for its use at town meeting, so and, and the town still has to yeah. hopefully replenish what they take out. So they're adding this to the CGS bu budget bottom line. Is that what's happening here? It's a separate line item. It's, yeah. Like yeah. It, it's under capital. What's on there now is an operating budget. Yeah, we only have They don't have any ca other capital uh, requests in their budget. Um, no. no uh, hmm. Generally, no. I mean, 
Sometimes yes, but generally no. How about, how about you finish your presentations? Well, well the I, one thing I yeah. do want to say about this too, just for the definition here, okay. Typically defined as a tangible asset or project that costs more than a certain threshold, mm -hmm. that has a minimum useful lifespan of a certain amount, mm -hmm. provides a planning schedule, and offers financial options. That last one's important. So the school does have a capital plan just like the Capital Improvements Committee does that mm -hmm. goes out and these are the things they're requesting and they, they bump them up every year and say, okay, this one's completed and just keep moving down the list. So these were the... And we've been... The, we're still working off of the five-year plan that was adopted in 2021, 2020, 2021, 2022, 22 school year. Mm -hmm. And it's nice to look at that and see all of the things that were crossed off as being done. So, I mean, this is year three, we're sort of on track. Um, if the town's budget was the train wreck that we had feared several months ago, um, they would not have presented this um, number, certainly not this number, um, but it turns out not to be as train wrecky as we had feared. So, uh, so does the, does the grammar school have a capital stabilization the account? The grammar school is the only one of the five schools, the, including the high school, mm -hmm. that has a capital stabilization fund of its own. So how much and is in that account right so now? Right now there is 225,000 and change in there. And um, so this was something back when, back when our town treasurer Jan Warner was on the school yeah. committee. This was something that her and I got together on and start, and it was that's how this cap fund was started. And they started it like ten thousand dollars at a time. Um, and the idea behind it, the number, the, the number two hundred and twenty-five thousand was always the goal, because the idea there's two boilers. Each boiler is ancient and is far beyond its life expectancy already, but they're still ticking. But the idea was uh, to have the money sit ready so that if both boilers go, you don't have to close school. So this um, isn't going to affect the bottom line budget request. This is just, this is going to come out of an existing right. capital I, stabilization fund. Um, well, it, it, the source depends. Let me get to the recap the, here. What would affect the, bu the budget is the additional warrant article calling for, to re-up the stabilization fund out of free cash. Yeah. Well, yeah, except we weren't going to take it out of stabilization. We were taking it out of free cash. So it's, it's stabilization neutral. So up here, let me try to make that a little bigger. So we're going to ask that we put $10,000 into stabilization Oops. and take 36000 out of free cash? Well, I didn't have anything to put into stabilization this time. Okay. Because we were blessed with a lot of money for free cash this year. Well, I just wonder why we're not, this, isn't this the point of a stabilization fund? Like when you need to I mean, we could, but basically we'd be putting it in and taking it out, so I'm not sure mm -hmm. if... You know, if we can pay for it straight through free cash, but that's that's a choice for the board to make. Yeah, is there any, that's, that's why we have a finance committee. Yeah, well, my committee. thought is that we, we go one through the stabilization committee because yeah. you know, that way the school committee has control. That's that's my feeling about it too. Yeah. All, all the record go through the, the school yeah. school budget as opposed to the Conway's budget. Yeah, you don't want it going through our general fund. I mean, beyond. I mean, it's, you want it to be segregated by. By the use. Yeah. I mean, if they have this free cash, or if they have a, a stabilization fund that's meant to be spent on stuff like this, why are we use it. taking out of free cash? I guess is my question. That's well, not. yeah, but then every year we replenish their stabilization. The right, so there'd be a one warrant article to zero. Right, but maybe we put like, over, over to their stabilization fund. Yeah. yeah. Right. right. So you, you can certainly do it that way. We've done it that way. I, I think that's the cleaner way to do it. I think it's a cleaner way. Can I make the pitch for the the other side? Uh, uh, the problem we've had for the last number of town meetings is the town votes to put the money in stabilization and they don't Release pass it. a two-thirds vote to right. take it out. Yep. I, and I rather than put it in stabilization, I think we should go for a a majority vote to to spend it. 
And actually, the legislature is looking into changing the regulations on stabilization funds so that it would be a, a simple majority, simple vote majority vote. instead of a two thirds. And but the, it's not in effect now. Uh, so. I for, like that idea. For, 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 what it, for what it's worth, that reluctance, that reluctance to take it out of stabilization has yet to infect the school spending. Yeah, and, mm -hmm. issue. It's never been an issue. Um, and this is an issue of security yeah, cameras and surveillance. Hmm? So these are things that we have to do. I mean, there's like no option. We're being directed by the superintendent. To we do felt there were drug things we had to do. Probably, uh, <laughs> probably because of some yeah. security issues and things of that nature, right? I mean, is this what's well, those, right? those are the questions that I asked earlier today that I have yeah. answers to. So uh, get the answers because my thought is uh, if it's something that we have basically have no choice, let's get to it. Well, but is, yeah. as far as our, I mean, if, if we're looking at like you know three and a half versus four and a half or five, I mean, like if if this is not going to affect like doesn't our, affect the bottom line for the even if we fund. take it out of free cash. Correct. Okay. Either yeah. way. Right. So basically, the choices would be okay. You're going to have Warren articles have said we're going to put this, uh, you know, $16,000 to upgrade the phone system coming out of capital. And then you'll have one that says we're going to put in this amount of money from free cash into capital. Mm -hmm. So if you prefer it that way for accounting, that's fine. That doesn't yeah. make a difference. But the bottom line is it's I coming do. out of free yeah, basically, cash. We basically. have the money. We have, like, there is a capital stabilization fund. Mm -hmm. the yeah. So we can... Yep. I think we should use it. Right. I kind of feel the same way. Like, why... So maybe maybe the capital improvements really has to want to share your additional information to us about what what, what what we what's can prompting share, this, right? uh, Well, the questions that I asked, I don't believe the answers tr will trip that security. Concern. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I mean, I agree. So effectively, you know, the issue that I wanted to know was what was driving this. Was yes. there some kind of compliance deadline related to the state or the federal government? And it turns out that the compliance is not being mandated on a deadline basis through some newly enacted legislation, but rather what would happen is the compliance requirement would be triggered if there was a call to the state 911 department mm -hmm. and for some reason the town did not respond adequately and that would trigger a letter from the state 911 center that would trigger the need for Conway to be compliant. So this is the school getting ahead of this mm -hmm. um, and there were some other reasons in the conversation I had with Phil that I cannot elaborate on for security reasons. Mm -hmm. um, and my second question regarding grace period if, a de if there's a deadline is not applicable because there's no yeah. there's no deadline. Recommend the best practice. Right? Um, mm -hmm. This is a state matter not a, not a federal matter for the most part. He, I asked him to cite the legislation. He did, um, and then the only other thing is, you know, did they get three quotes? That was my, <laughs> my last yeah, my last yeah, question. Thank you. Yeah, they always do. So I have a question then. Have the other are the other grammar schools in the Frontier Regional uh, U thirty eight school district having to do this, or they are have they already done it? Um, for, I forget which one. For one of these ones, we're the last one to do it, and for uh, one of these ones, we're like the second one to do it. All right. I forget the exact order of which was mm -hmm. My thought is not an issue. We explain that way to town that we have, we really have to do this. I mean, it's an issue of uh, you know, security. The beyond, beyond discussion. I'd like us to have another meeting because I want to talk to Roy more about the first issue of upgrading the phone system. I've been through this process before with voice right. over IP phones. It's a large cost right there that I'm not really understanding, so I'd kind of mm -hmm. like to work with Roy right. to Okay. figure that out and break it down. So sure. you're talking about this so, video? Yeah, so video. this, this, is, uh, something no, the Roy, this is something yeah. that Roy doesn't, this is something, so the school has its own IT department and yeah. Scott Paul's. Yeah, but he'll it. understand it. Yeah, mm -hmm. and yeah. and the way, um, Which one's the, that, that, and that was part of the, the phone upgrade is that it's not one system that we're upgrading to, it's different components to an existing system. And each each phone has to be upgraded because of that. Mm -hmm. It's the same thing happened yeah. to my company. Yeah. It's just mm -hmm. $550 a phone is a lot. <laughs> yeah. So, I got one of those in my house. <laughs> so Chris, based on what you just said, are you saying that you are not <laughs> ready through capital? Did I hear $950? $550. 550 for a voice over IP phone. It's getting higher. Five, wait, 550 or 950? Five, 550. Five, five, okay, well that's on the high end. For sure. Yeah. 
as so somebody my, my question is familiar you're with you're not this. ready to vote on this request along with all the other ones we the, on the schedule that the capital improvements committee need to vote on today it, i'd like more information on that okay. phone system upgrade okay video surveillance again and i know the phone system if it needs upgraded it's very important because there's no cell service there yeah mm -hmm. um i understand that i'm just kind of want more information it's mm -hmm. like <laughs> why does it cost this much I can get you phones. <laughs> is, uh, you know? is there, uh, so is there someone from the uh, business office, not Shelly Farina, Bill Hendrith, or somebody from the IT department who could have a, an executive session with the uh, people who want to finance the capital improvements select board? Um, it's, uh, the IT director is the one that did answer the questions right. submitted. Um, is that and, IT director for the for Frontier? And for us, and for, the, and, and for, us, and for Union 38, yeah. Union 28, so Union 38. Yeah. 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 Oh, so if we have their contact, then Roy and I can separately yeah. contact them. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. Okay, let's just do that. We'll just Not do good. that. All right, and so we're going to postpone a vote on that particular if you don't request. Yeah. Can we get a week? Is that what? Yeah, yeah, plenty of time. The next okay. meeting is the 10th. Yep. Yep. Yeah, and... Um. Okay. So on April, so on April tenth, then presumably we vote on both capital items for the grammar school, the video surveillance, and the phone the voice over IP. All right. And the HVAC. That one, I would say, though, to be honest, probably. Well, just to tell me if you think it's cleaner or not. The seventeen seven was money that was rebated last time when they did the mini splits. It had to go back to the general fund and closed out to free cash. So it kind of makes sense to take free cash to give to them. But we could do stabilization if you prefer. I'm just. I well, there's a refund. Have a we got a refund too from uh, the state, right? Get to all I'm CDC. sorry? We got a refund at, at the end of the project too from CPC, right? Well, this. So they did get the rebate. Oh, okay. But it came to the town to the general fund. Oh. They couldn't just turn it back in to oh, use okay. it for mini splits. It wasn't legal to do that. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So then it closed out to free cash. All right. And so they would just like the rebate that they got back. <laughs> Sounds good. So. Give me money. That we needed two thirds vote at that time. Mm. <laughs> Look at it. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. All right, I'm pretty gonna, confident all these items will get a two. So I was going to say for, for capital improvements, just to close out this school request, Chris just told me on a sidebar that he's ready to vote on the the video system request, all right. okay. which we can do now. I think that's an easy one. So a motion for capital improvements to vote on the video s surveillance request of twenty thousand dollars. Second. All, All in favor? favor? Aye. 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 Now, why do we have to vote? Do we have to really vote to allow the rebate to go back into the funds? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Why don't I do that too? Okay. I'll make a motion to return um, the $17,700 rebate um, to the HVAC project. Um, I'm sorry, of the HVAC project to the school to continue and finish the final classroom and office with mini split heat pumps. Second. All, All in favor? favor. Sorry. Oh All in favor. Aye. 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 <laughs> Does the finance committee need to vote on this too? I think so, right? The whole building is completely empty <laughs> except for the gym. Okay, so uh, do, the fi do we have to, for the finance, we have to vote on this? Um, I don't think so. Well, that's up to you. This. Um, because when these all get, the, they'll be put on the warrant. Yeah, we'll vote on the warrants. Yeah, usually the finance committee has a recommendation, yeah. though. Yeah. yeah. That, that's what you'll be doing on the warrant. Right. But yeah, you can vote. You can vote that when we have the draft warrant in front of us. And we'll okay. Each one. So we'll go through and do it as, a, as, a, as our group. That's all right. a couple weeks from now. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's going to be crunch time here. Yeah. Oh, okay. We got lots of time. We got two weeks. We're not done in two weeks. World can happen in two weeks. That's what I always say when I have a deadline. I'll take the time. <coughs> All right, so their need for the um, the capital schedule. Can you, do you have access to them? Can you put it on oh, the board um, so we can go through it? 
and Chris, if you're largely familiar with it, if mm -hmm. you could leave the discussion, sure. please. Sure, no problem. Let me see if I can find it. Um, uh, I can resend it if you need me to resend you want it. Probably real quick. There. I don't think I sent it last Friday. This was the spreadsheet? Yeah. I mean, I got it. I there's a lot of stuff on it we already knew about. Yeah. So I'm not. Can, can you send it to me real yep. quick? Because I don't know why I'm not seeing it. And then, right now. And it should open up to the tab when you see. Okay. So I, I want to thank Chris for putting this together. Um, the intent of this spreadsheet, this is something that Capital Improvements it plans to use going forward to just sort of, you know, normalize all of the requests that come in. We've got the, we've got the new form, which everybody, all the, all the department heads used, which was really great. So what you're going to see here for the first time is also how we're proposing to track these Capital Improvements requests going forward. Yeah, so when we kind of restarted this committee that to see the uh, prior year capital request was to look through a folder this large. <laughs> so we want to be able to, you'll see what we're looking at here, yeah. how we want to see it going forward. So when the next committee comes in, other members come in, they can easily see the history of everything. And this is just the... The tab we're going to be looking at is just taking the information from the request form and putting it into a simple spreadsheet. And that's what the Capital Improvements Committee is going to vote on today after we have our discussion with all of you. So if you'd like me to go through request by request, I can... Well, you can't really see that too much. Yeah, <laughs> so, yeah, I can have you print it out for us. Well, through well it. yeah. Perfect. Yeah, you, do, you guys have the printout. So yeah, so you can also select a... Yeah. You can select a cells in an Excel formula and right click and say set print area. Just an FYI. The feature is... Right click, right click. The first is the just a the continuation of the uh, fire uh, department pumper truck stabilization fund. Uh, we've been putting um, 100000 per year in there. Um, the reason for the uh, fund is because there's typically a maximum of 25 years of service on a pumper truck. Our current pumper truck is from 2003. Um, we had initially planned uh, or, or Bob had initially planned to um, have up to 650 in the fund to pay for the pumper truck. Now, from just a year ago, the <laughs> price has increased from 650 to 850. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, I didn't have it up all the way, so I didn't see the, the cruiser was the first one on your list. <laughs> <laughs> the initial sorry. request from years ago yeah. was 360,000. We are now up to 800,000. Yeah. Not good. The second request you'll see here is from the uh, which tab? Uh, FY 2025 Rex. Apologize. Okay. The second request you'll see here is for another civilization fund for a new ambulance. Um, again, this is a year-to-year uh, -year fund. We're again asking for a hundred thousand. Um, I believe the the projected uh, the initial projection for a new ambulance is four hundred. Um, I'm sorry, the current is four hundred. I think the initial was closer to two fifty. Four hundred now. Four hundred now. Um, the current vehicle is a two thousand thirteen. Again, um, as stated when uh, Gemma uh, was here. 
the, you know, uh, the vehicles will probably be used by the highway department, the current vehicle. So if um, we replace it. If we replace it. So there won't be any additional funds from a trade-in, not that it's worth anything anyway. Well, and then, it, passed, it passed the state inspection pretty well. It did. It did. They were very happy. Um, now there are two portions, obviously, to an ambulance. You have the truck itself and then the trailer on the truck. Uh, the other two requests here are both for the high risk. Yeah, before you did the, the police cruiser, what, is, what would be the trading value of that? Oh, I'm sorry. I missed the police cruiser. That's the first one. Um, that, is, that is a new cruise. I don't, yeah, they, they don't want to trade in on that. I understand they don't want to. What would be the trade in value had they wanted to? So the current cru cruiser right now is a 2018 Chevy Tahoe. It's not in the best of conditions. Right. I would think that the trade ins probably you might be able to get at tops at 15,000. Because my understanding is when we when we got this one, the at the, our then police chief wanted to keep his old one at that time mm -hmm. as well. And um, Tom Meany said no. So mm -hmm. that's just something to think about. Um, we could try to sell it and never tell them what the idle time actually is. There you go. Because <laughs> if anybody knows the idle time, nobody will buy this. It's on record. <laughs> Sorry, I totally missed that one. So the, yeah, the, the police department has for a new cruiser, I have asked um, Chief Bates to um, try to go after the, the Burn Jag um, mm -hmm. enforcement fund, uh, which would be 50,000. Mm -hmm. So um, he's actually taken a course soon on grant applications. Mm -hmm. And then if we were to buy one, it would be the lowest the least, least expensive option option of the three that he presented to us that, that satisfies his requirements and the town's needs? What he presented to us no longer exists. And the problem is, is in the state, there are only two places that you can purchase uh, police cruisers. And they constantly are uh, out of cruisers. So a lot of um, townships have tried to go the way of electric or hybrid, have had a lot of issues with it. All of those, you, you can't even try to get, not that we want it anyway. But um, uh, yeah, the issue is the three you looked at before no longer exist. So that's why there is a very large projection mm -hmm. cost of low to high. Yeah, it's not that wide range. Hmm. And is there any hope that that low to high swing will be reduced <laughs> by the time it comes to town meeting? I, I highly doubt it. Yeah. Really? If anything, it'll probably increase. The request from the police department is also to have a um, pickup, which would obviously we would need four by four no matter what if you got an SUV or a pickup. A pickup in addition to the cruiser? No, or a, pick a pickup as the cruiser. Oh, okay, all right. And a cab pickup as the cruiser. That way you could also use the bed for certain things. You come across dead animal and something like that and the dragon's not available. So Kyle, right, dragon. Um, but that might not be a fiscally responsible approach, although I totally understand the request. Um, it all depends on what's available and how much it costs and how long it would be until we could actually get it, because there's probably going to be at least a year wait list. What's the likelihood that we would get a grant? I have no clue, honestly. I have no Not going to give it a percentage, 25 percent, 35 and a half. I don't know much about the Bring Jag grant. Um, well, is anyone is there a godmother before you know? I do not know. Not around. Okay. Not in any of the surrounding municipalities. Is there anyone we can go to to help us write the grants? I have asked Don to look into that. I know he's contacting some of his uh, oh, contacts to see. Supposedly the governor's office right, has the grant to the person that's to help with this. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Tom. Right. Thank you. 
but I mean, I expressed to him if we could get the grant, that's a slam dunk, you know. Yeah. Otherwise, it's more than likely going to be voted down. Yeah. Any other questions on highway, police, or ambulance? Well, you didn't, talk, you didn't talk about the highway. No, no, I know. Before we get there. <laughs> so. I have a question with the grant. Is the grant like once time a year to, to, to apply or is it a rolling application in this grant? You know? Uh, th this particular grant is one time a year. One time a year. Mm -hmm. The other thing I want to point out is the departmental priority is that is a rating applied by the department. Mm -hmm. So you can see that, you know, several of them are considered to be an enhancement and a handful of them are considered essential. Yeah. I believe all are enhancements aside from the loader. The compact mm -hmm. loader, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So not to say that we would recommend kicking are, the can down the road. But are we are we proposing to put, put a warrant article in place for this? For the cruiser? Yeah. I had proposed. I we know we need to talk about it probably more as a as a capital improvement department. But yeah. um, I the way I talked to Don, I said I think it would be good to propose it if the grant was in hand. Or to yeah. deduct the amount that is asked for in consideration of the grant. Yeah, just for some of these grant programs, you need to have approval to go ahead and buy it. Correct. That's part of the that's part of the approval process. Correct. Yeah, but we won't have. We're going to have to put in the full warrant article. Yeah. We're not going to have enough time before the grant. That's yeah. right. Okay, well, that's, that's exactly. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's why I'm asking the question. Yeah. yeah. So but you're saying we will have warrant article. To this, we're going to have to. We're going to have to if, to if, if we decide that that we're going to move forward with that. Right. right. Can we write the yeah. warrant yeah. article dependent upon <coughs> getting the grant? We can certainly. Sure. Can, uh, I, I mean, we get both things that way. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good. Sounds good. That's a good idea. Yep. Yeah. That'll give us walking around money. Technically, to, uh, <coughs> when the perfect opportunity comes up. I have looked at the cruiser, although it could probably last another couple of years. It's not the best. <laughs> I can tell you that. Well, um, he made a really good case for what happens yeah. when the current cruiser fails. It's in the right. shop, right. And we have no yeah. cruiser, and you get calls. And you can't right. respond there to the calls. <coughs> then South Airfield has to come up. The vehicle yeah. Bob Baker's using with the fire, it was the old cruiser that's running. That's, yeah, he's got the old cruiser. Yeah, he yeah. has the old one, yeah. And a new new truck. The ashtrays are falling out. Yeah. Well, it's running, so they're it's in town and should be. Here's the other thing is, if, just playing devil's advocate, it takes a while for the cruiser to come in, at least a year or so, and the current one dies, but the warrant language said it was dependent upon getting the grant, and we don't get the grant. Right. It, it might You can always reapply? Right, right but you, you might want to word... The next fiscal year and... I was just going to say, you might want to word the article to say that, you know, approves this and a grant will be applied for and if received will be used. Yeah, well, then which you're would, saying you're going to fund you're, it. Yeah. You're asking to fund it without the grant. Yes. If the, if the cruiser dies, right. we're just going to have a special town meeting. No, well, we don't have a grant. Grant. Well, well, I mean, what, what we didn't have when the, when the previous cruiser died, though, is a vehicle in another department that has all the emergency warning lights and yeah. can be pressed into service that is rel relatively new yeah. and so and if the current cruiser dies we don't have that we do now or we do because we yeah. have the old cruiser yeah. no not that's that we have a new that the fire the fire, pickup, the, the fire department mm -hmm. pickup, pickup truck oh, right. has so all yeah. emergency and that's a new vehicle um, so we, we can find more information about the grant maybe send it off to Chris please sure because my thought about the grant, a lot of some of these grants are reimbursable, and I would bet this one is. But they probably predicated on you have to buy it. It can only be new. And, is that an agreement that, that like stuff. our police department has with our fire department that if like the cruiser is not working, like um, it's unlikely. It's but the both of those departments directly report to the select board. The select right, board actually does have. Yeah, but it, I mean, that just seems yes. like to say that yes. we have in a theory, spare vehicle. In theory, <laughs> police department can go to fire department. But um, Phil yeah. can tell everyone. What? 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 Phil can tell everyone what to do. No, don't. <laughs> I don't. 
So, I mean, what's everyone's consensus on that? Do we leave it up to the town to say we're hoping for a grant but might not get the grant? And well, we can predicate it on the grant award, mm -hmm. and then we can revisit I mean, it. Do you feel strongly as the finance committee that or the capital improvements that like this is a really important expenditure for the town I right now? I feel strongly that he needs a new cruiser within two years. Yeah, I think it's, I think so. we have no choice to go forward with it right now. We have to give ourselves lead time. We can't wait to not have a cruiser then find yeah. one and have to wait a year. And even if we did like a capital stabilization for a cruiser, that would still be, we'd still be like, you know, three, four years out before we built up enough money. Mm -hmm. so. Well, no, we have enough money in capital stabilization. You mean the, well, we yeah, but like, if a, a, like we have like a specific account for like the, the pumper truck, right? Or is that? Yeah, that's separate. Yeah. So that's separate. So we have a capital stabilization and this is the only warrant article that I was planning to take out of capital oh, okay. instead of out of free cash. We have 295,000, I think right now in capital. So if you took, and I was using 80,000 as a round mm -hmm. number. So we'd still have over you know, 250,000 left mm -hmm. in capital stabilization even if we just took it straight out of that. That's really my main concern is that if we limit ourselves and then we have to go back to a special town meeting because there's a lead time for the truck and we yeah. weren't, you know, I just didn't yeah. want to box ourselves in to yeah. not being able to, to get it. Can we write the warrant article so that if the stabilization fails, we have a majority vote or do they get out of free cash? We won't have enough free cash to do that. Given given all the other requests this year, even with all the free cash we have, so how much is that? Um, we started. We used seventeen thousand of it in December at special town meeting, so we're six sixty one one six zero. Um, actually, show you that. That makes sense. I got six eighty eight seven hundred certified by the state. So here is what I had is the free cash running balance based on the articles that I have. Um, oops. So that was our starting balance after December town meeting. And then all, these are all the items that we would be taking out of the free cash and we'd be left with about 42.5. And this is including putting some into general stabilization um, because it's been recommended that our general stabilization be three, uh, sorry, five percent of our operating. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, what did we put into free cash last year? What did we like? What do we have left over after? Like what? Like what amount went into free cash last year? Um, it's always kind of difficult to know what's going to show up for free cash. Part of the reason we started off so far ahead, almost 300000 was because of the Chapter 90 reimbursements, which got submitted okay. a little late. They, so they came, mm -hmm. yeah. So we started off with a nice chunk of change. So we had quote unquote over budget by about $117,500. Yeah. We had about 400000 We took in Seven. extra tax takings. That was the bulk. I meant 300000 approximately for tax takings. We have projected about 236,000 free cash, so we came in about 450. And that was due to the bridge? The, the 300,000 was from the main Poland bridge, and we got the 300 yeah. from the state? I don't think so. I think no. it's separate. No, I didn't spend much. That's separate. No, it was, for a whole, it was a whole bunch of different little yeah. things that added up. Yeah, then we had extra revenue from you know, RMV fees and all that kind of thing. That was like thirty two or $33,000. Yeah. I mean, if we were to spend this this year, I mean, that's like a huge, that's a huge, do we ever spend this much free cash, I guess is my question? <laughs> <laughs> a few, a few years you can always back. borrow, you can always borrow going forward, but you'd rather not. You have to borrow yeah. less. There was a, a year, of, there was, it, it, but this is, in budgeting, this is like what you talk about. It, it, it Generally, it's better to be conservative and have more left over than it is to be, to try to hit it right on the mark and then like and then have nothing the next year um but there's so there are like ratios that you want to super the, there's a five percent but um but you know the <clears throat> once once the once if free cash is consistently uh, you know 700 800 900 a, thousand, a million then you can fair make the fair argument that you're 
residents are being over assessed and yeah. over taxed. Yeah, right. Um, we do that for years. Yeah. That we pay more taxes than necessary. And that, yeah. But it is that whole kind of buffer and. Yeah. Yeah. Tongue, tongue. So, so I, I did review this. Yeah. Override. I did reviews of this with with Mike today, just to say, you know, mm -hmm. if we went down to that low, the first year I was here, we went down as low as seventeen. That yeah. was all that was left in free cash. But actually, but in the end, we got a free cash certified. We came out like two hundred something thousand. Yeah. Yeah. So, and you know, he was actually comfortable with going down as far as twenty eight. There you go. So, so he's like, okay. Mike's so, and, and since it's a since it's a <laughs> free cash heavy year and we have a, a number of capital items that we need to catch up with. It just seemed, you know. Right, and free sense. cash is, what is that, two? That's 50% though, right? Or is that two? That's minutes? simple majority. Right, simple mm -hmm. majority, so. And you see the states, that is town value around what, 300 million? For the last, I think it was 268 the last time that uh, you know, we come. More than that. So even well, say it's well, there's a rebound million. that's going to happen next year, which is going to be probably going up by five percent. So we around three hundred. So okay, just say three hundred million. So that's six hundred thousand. That's two bucks on the tax rate. Every three hundred thousand dollars we spend is a buck on the tax rate. So that's two of them. Yeah. That's what that free cash is. So this in essence, wherever it came from, but yeah, there right. it is, yeah. and that's what it is. That's yeah. it. And the thing, the little trouble I have some over the years is, just like they say, Medicare Advantage, and it's not Medicare, <laughs> free cash, it's not, not really right. free. <laughs> it's, it's not a gift card from, you know, somewhere. And <coughs> yeah. So yeah, I have two concerns with the with the cruiser. One, obviously, we want to get a grant, free money from it. The other concern is, is if we don't get the grant, we don't move forward with it. Is it going to cost us just as much as the grant because of all the failures of the current cruiser and the um, other capital requests for other equipment right. that's also failed and the increase of cost of vehicles, which mm -hmm. keeps going up exponentially each year. Yeah. Mm -hmm. One more chip manufacturer issue and you're talking another 20% increase in yeah. vehicles. But in all in, in these types of things though it is important that we don't overstate the case to the, the, the as far as I understand that the repairs so far in the cruiser there was three thousand dollars for fuel injectors and I don't know what else but it I mean those are that's a significant mm -hmm. expense and indicative of a car that's seen better days um, but it's still three thousand dollars and not so a lot of taxpayers can relate to it. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah 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 so then to vote the committee capital improvements we need to vote on the cruiser as the new request it's the one that's had the most discussion are we ready to vote well is this as you putting it forward to be on the sure warrant yeah okay yeah are we ready? Sure. I, I guess, how are we putting it forward on the committee? How are we putting it forward is the, the, the total cost or the total cost um, dependent on the application or the grant? This one sounds like it might benefit from another week of time. Yeah, I think so. I think so. Okay. Yeah, I think, about, table it. I think it might be really helpful. Digesting and contemplation. Yeah, more, more about the grant, too, like how it works. It, yeah. You know, assuming it's reimbursable. How long is it good for? You know, who? That's kind of thing. But most grants, you have to show the money, though, right, to get it. That's reimbursable. Yeah. They, so I mean, the vote, you have to do it anyway. So. Yeah. But maybe not this year. Okay. I think uh, the the fire truck and ambulance were pretty solid cases. Yeah. You know, as is. That's just transferring money. <laughs> And, and, and the, hi the highway stuff you haven't talked about yet. Yes, so the highway stuff. So the two highway things were put on, uh, were on town vote uh, uh, during the last meeting and uh, got voted down. Um, one being the, the pickup slash plow truck, the other being the compact loader. Um, the plow truck is uh, 20 years old at this point. Where'd you get that from? What's that? Where'd you get that from? 2004. 2014. No, 
I have to, I'm still waiting on some paperwork as, as you know, but I'm, I've been told that the truck has been um, in various auto mechanic garages over the last uh, past few years and this year alone. Um, I, I did see that uh, on some paperwork Ron provided, it did go to two garages. One, it had been in for over a month and a half. Mm -hmm. um, various replacements for worn out equipment, um, some transmission issues. Uh, what's being requested is, is probably more than what would be needed. Um, but there are attachments to the that are needed on the pickup um, to be allowed to use the existing attachments we have for the current truck. To haul the trailers, to attach the plows, and various other things. Mm -hmm. The compact loader, not much more to say here. I know it says new. I don't believe it should say new. Um, the compact loaders we had looked at before were used. There wasn't much difference between a new and a used when you bring in a municipal discount, mm -hmm. but there really aren't new out there. Um, the current compact loader hasn't been used. It's been out of commission mm -hmm. since last year. Because it's just broken? There are all kinds of issues with okay. it, yes. <laughs> One being that the um, uh, uh, the tracks are, there's major issues with the tracks. Yeah. Um, so the new loader, he wants to be uh, uh, wheel-based. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we own a giant piece of equipment that we have not used for the past year. That also had a replacement engine right. not so that long ago. So we have a, we have a giant non-functional piece of equipment. Mm -hmm. Correct. Okay. Correct. Thank you. Also with a ton of attachments. Yeah. I know one of the stipulations he wanted was that um, the seat, right? He was saying that the seat needed to be, um, I think the current loader has the seat in the middle where you yeah. have to put down right. whatever you're using to get in and out of it. It's a safety issue. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. So the new loader, he wants a side seat, which would be available if you had the wheels opposed to the tracks. Mm -hmm. And again, it states 100 here. I know last year when we were looking at the used, it was, I believe, 70, 70 or 72,000. Um, I would hope we'd be able to find around the same. Mm -hmm. And all the all the attachments work with the proposed yes. new, new vehicle. We wouldn't get, yes, yeah. would not get a vehicle unless the attachments were mm -hmm. able to use. Same with the pickup truck. Mm -hmm. So we looked to authorize up, up to $100,000 Correct. And this is probably the piece of equipment that is used the most. I would think that by the time they pick up not being used at all. Right? <laughs> well, <laughs> when it's Should rented, be. when they rent them. Did a lot of good oh, work. They're, oh, they're rent, the so they're renting one? Did a lot yes. of work with the highway guards. Yes. When they rent them. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Not long-term rentals. When they need one, they go out, rent it, yeah. take it back. Right. Yeah. Go out, rent it, take it back. With a pay in the rear end. Huh? Yes. So these are the two we're talking about being no-brainers. Well, these we've discussed this before. Yeah. This came up so last year. So should we vote on them today? I think, well, I think the no-brainers are the stabilization funds, right? The no-brainers are the pump truck and the EMS, um, the ambulance. Mm -hmm. The highway department, I, although I think obviously they're both are needed, um, they also got downvoted last year. Yep. So no-brainers as far as Getting them across for a, approval? No, by no means. Oh, right. This will be an inviting lot of discussion. But we need them. We yeah. correct. Desperately, at least des right. yes, desperately. There's, no reason, need there's them. no reason not to put put them in an article if they were in an article last year. The yeah. need has not declined. Right. And this time it would be free cash as opposed to zero. Right. Yeah. Right. So is this that been the case they both would have passed last year? They would have. Yes, yes. they would yeah. have. Yes. Is the uh, is the the pickup truck? I noticed that it's a priority three. Is that accurate? It's accurate, but the current pickup truck we have again it's not. It's, it's been in the shop. It's been in the shop. Um, if you go look at it, there's 
all kinds of rust issues. Yeah, mm. yeah. Um, I mean, it's 2004, you're saying, Yeah. Right? You know, you've yeah. seen an action, it's uh, seen I mean, it, so I, I, I think you could argue that you could raise the priority of that. Yeah. yeah uh, Yes, I mean he does have one. The, yeah. the reason the compact loader is a two because the one, one we currently have can't it can't yeah. be used. Yeah, and they have in it forces yeah. rental, which increases operating right. yeah. Yeah. budget, right. costs, and all that. Right. right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you guys are all prepared to make a presentation about this. At yes. <laughs> Town meeting, sure. So that yeah, like we did last year. Maybe we can drive yeah. the, the pickup truck, the one-ton yep. pickup, up and park, park it in right the front of the school. Sure. Yeah. 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 yeah, so they can see the rust. Tow it, yeah. tow it to the front of the school. So you want to drive this thing? Go ahead. Yeah. Or the highway departments just have to walk everybody over to the highway department. There you go. We'll, we'll do the same quick, easy to read sheet on return on investment too, based on Good. if anything is being rented in place of uh, yeah. a, right. a current yeah, vehicle. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Good. I think that helps to show, hey, do you really want to spend this amount of money over time as opposed to a smaller amount up front? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And you have it out of free cash? Yeah. All right, so we're voting. Do you want to do the no-brainer first? Or do yes, you uh, uh, I will make a motion to um, place 100000 into <coughs> the pumper truck stabilization fund. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 How about you, Roy? Uh, that, did I hear that correctly? Pumper, pumper truck? Yeah, yeah the, fire, the fire department pumper truck. Correct. Yeah, okay, aye. Okay. I, I have a question, though. Can, can, we, can I just rewind a bit back to the, uh, the cruiser and possibly the, uh, the, the that was a Ram 3500, so that's that's a one-ton uh, pickup truck. Uh, and we have looked at this in the past, but I wonder if, any, if it's worth a fresh look at uh, leasing these, the, you know, those two vehicles particularly. We can't. You're shaking your head. You're shaking your head, Alan. In November of 2016, the Massachusetts General Legislature basically made it impossible for towns to lease. Because the lease has to be put out to annual bid. <laughs> And we don't get the tax advantages that a private citizen or a company would get either. <laughs> I, I, I missed that. There, it's, stat it's statutorily almost impossible to do now since November of 2016. So a town cannot lease a vehicle? Pretty much anything. The hoops that you have to jump through. Diminishing returns. Okay. Well, that's new to me, but so be it. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, I'll make a motion to apply uh, $100,000 to the Ambulance Stabilization Fund for a new ambulance. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, I'll make a motion to um, allocate 100000 for a new highway pickup slash plow truck uh, for the highway department. Up to 100,000? Up to 100,000. Including accessories? Accessories are already there. No, okay. Yep. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, this is, okay. I'll say 100,000, okay, up to. Up to uh, I'll make a motion <laughs> to approve up to 100,000 for a, do I have to say new or used? For a compact loader, compact loader for the highway department. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 And, and then we'll discuss the cruiser some more before we come to you with a recommendation. Yes. I'll, I'll set up a meeting with Don Bates with the four of us. Yeah, if, if, uh, Chief, if uh, Chief Bates would know of any towns that have gotten this grant, it might be helpful. Just to find yeah, out. the grant, a, more de a detailed discussion of the grant yeah. will be on the agenda and see what he's learned about it. Yeah. And mm -hmm. then also how he's, you know, remember, Chris said he's taking a grant writing course class himself. All right. So. Might be a little too late, but. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, there's always, you know, I thought if you're out there, can help us, you know. Yeah. Thank you. All that extra extra learning for no pain, <laughs> building a skill set. 
So what will happen after this, after this, after town meeting is this will get updated. So it'll have like a running history. Mm -hmm. So it'll be there for, for you know, FinCom if you need to look at it during the year yeah. between all the, the budget cycle and town meeting. Did the select board or the finance committee want anything further from the capital stabilization committee? No, no. Capital improvements. Capital improvements I'm sorry. No, you're already <laughs> having two meetings. You're, you're having a discussion about the uh, voice over IP and then uh, yes. about the grant yeah. for this. Well, we can individually mail the IT director yeah, about that. Yeah, I just, from, from a strategic point of view, if to the extent that you can get more solid ground under your feet mm -hmm. with those numbers, mm -hmm. not just on the warrant, but at town meeting. Yeah. And um, yeah. not just a flat. Right. Yeah, not, right. not the, the, the greater the range, the greater the chance of it getting voted down. Mm -hmm. The more qualifications to a hard number, the, mm -hmm. group, the more chance of it getting voted down. Um, because, the, you know, pe what people think is that, oh, human nature, you're, you're saying up to this amount is okay. You're going to spend it. One, once you get your first thing that's up to that amount, you say, yeah, yeah it's just, um, uh, so, so that's, I mean, that's what people are going to think. So, you know, I, I just, all, in all of these types of things, the greater, the, 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 the more you can, like, massage these things to the point where you can get, the, yeah. the greater specificity, yeah. the, the greater chance of success. We'll get more firm numbers on the three items that aren't part of stabilization's funds and update the recommendation after. Yeah. And then the other thing too is that um, when, when you do go to present these things, I don't know if we're gonna be meeting again with you um, as a committee. Um, when you do go to present these things, like, and, and we've talked about, then I, 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 I think that we should have like a rehearsal day. I'm serious. No, that's fine. Um, and, uh, you know, wh where mm -hmm. you, you, you actually full on, like maybe bring Jimmy record, bring the moderator in here, read the, read the thing and actually give your presentation, get, accept feedback, make changes. Sure. Um, and that the important thing about all that because I looked at these things like over the past couple of years, like why, why are they going down to defeat? And when you, when you look at the presentation, yeah, I mean, there's a lot, there's a lot of aspects to these presentations, but <clears throat> it's the, there's there's a difference in your presentation from when you are repeating something that you are told versus saying something that you have your own personal knowledge of. Mm -hmm. And and since since we, you know, and I, for, for a random highway piece of equipment, since you are not equipment operators, you don't have that type of personal knowledge. But what, what, what I think what would be really benefit is to actually go through the warrants that cover the expenses of something that you're trying to replace. Look at those warrants, understand what the, understand yourself like what the, the nature of those repairs are, what was spent, where it was spent, so that when, you know, so, so that you have like an authenticity about your knowledge. And it, it's, it, it's not about not trusting the person that's telling you these things. It's mm -hmm. about getting a different source for your knowledge that you know yourself, that's independent, mm -hmm. um, and that you're, you're then able to share like from a place of like, I know that this is the truth. But and, we still have the, the presentation that was done last year right? for the highway, and the same equipment is on it, or two pieces of the same equipment right. is on it. It can certainly be improved, and we have another year of experience to add to that presentation yep. to update it. This tracker also includes a maintenance log that you needs major updating. Film? But I'm studying <laughs> film. We're in the fedora. I have any questions. Study and Method film. Method acting. Sure. Yeah, it's, yeah. Not the fedora. Yeah. Not the bottom That's it. <laughs> yeah. But Phil, if, if, if the select board wants to see the capital improvements presentation in advance of town meeting, I'm happy to do that if you want. I, 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 I don't, it, this is not like something that I have, have th th this, th like, as someone who has taught public speaking before, um, like this, when, when you are giving a present and just, it's just one of the basic precepts of like the social science of argument with a capital A that Plato and Socrates taught, the, the need to have authentic knowledge 
of, of what you're talking about and, and authenticity comes from authenticity comes from your own personal experience of it and your own personal research of something rather than just something it, and it shows in so many different ways rather than what you're told even if it, it assume even if totally assuming that what you're being told is the truth but it's just different I have a question regarding this the whole budget this year is there going to be a pre town uh Meeting this year, pre-town meeting. Potluck party. Yeah, potluck and party. Jimmy, oh, Jimmy Reedford does those. Yeah, those are private. Yeah, that's, that's not. And Ma so Mary McClintock and Jim Reedford. But, but I mean, if, if we might, even at the pre-town meeting, maybe we can have people if they want go over to the town garage and look at the two bigger pieces of equipment being replaced. You can. The problem with that is that you know they they limit the discussion to the top three vote getters of the articles. And you don't know what those are going to be in advance. Oh, all right. And I mean, actually, over the years, when I was just going there as a resident, I used to really appreciate those things. Now, as like a select board member, I, it's like a crash, ta <laughs> crash. It's like a, a, a pop quiz. You have to study all forty articles uh -huh. and be ready for any one of them. And then there's only three that you're tested on. It was like the exact same experience in like a college class. You would get so upset that you spent wasted so much time studying all this stuff that you never had to talk about mm -hmm. um, yeah. but I like the idea of parking the plow truck in yeah like the, when the, the, yeah. the yeah. first parking spot right in front <laughs> of the right there potluck and show and tell that matter drive right up to the sidewalk by the anchor and they went for the big sign that says so article five right <laughs> that's right, right. Well, well, open, open the best, open the best offer <laughs> I think that's actually a good idea make, let's yeah. keep it real <laughs> Who's, who's well, going to pay to tow it? <laughs> <laughs> well, down, down to the you won't have to. Yeah, it's yeah, it's you know, right with your own eyes how much rust is on it. I, yeah. I just I want to say I, I trust that the finance committee and the capital improvements committee are making like the best recommendations that that like th with all the information that you all have, and so are we. But also so everyone who's coming to town meeting. I mean, they're also like I don't want to discount like right. You know, those people are coming with their opinions and, and sure. their understanding too. So sure. I agree. Like, let's all make a, our best case, but um, and let's be civilized mm -hmm. and respectful about it. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'll, I'll just put out there too that one thing that's not on here again, which it is partly my my fault, but the greater that we have is. Yeah pretty much useless at this point oh, really? yeah and we have close to 30 miles of gravel roads in our town yeah. so how many hours have we got put on that rascal it's on the greater places. it's got to be it's not many it, I, so I, I, I it can't right I thought he withdrew his request for that and said that he got it fixed up he did really good I job saw it driving up my road yeah. Yeah. a couple of days ago yeah it was a good thing yeah we spent thirty-five thousand dollars about five, six years ago fixing the transmission. But I know how I've seen Ron rent one in the past. A couple of years ago, we went to one in the fall to get the roads ready for the winter. And the reason I took it off two years ago was this. Geez, already two years ago, <laughs> close to almost two years ago, was because um, the cost, the the return on investment didn't make sense. It was yeah. cheaper to rent it right. for the time period that we rented it for. And he didn't submit a request. This Correct. He withdrew it. The only problem that he has with the rental is that if he can find one. Yeah. Right. right. That's the problem. That's yes. the issue. Mm -hmm. Right. But that, that's something that the, the town can't lease it out, but we could sub that job out. We could sub the job out to the very expensive. <laughs> there, I was going to say that might be more expensive than the greater. Yeah. There, there are certain pieces of equipment, we've talked about this too, certain pieces of equipment that it makes sense to partner with a neighboring town or two. Correct. If, if you only need a piece of equipment for two to three, four weeks out of a year, and you're all in that same boat, yeah. it doesn't make sense for you all to get the same piece of equipment. Yeah, but Brian, as I recall, the, the argument was that everybody needs it at the same time. Exactly. Yeah. That's yeah. Right. Yeah. And it's very weather dependent too, yeah. so and you Deer, know. Deerfield wasn't willing, was not a willing partner on this. It's, it's well, a difficult Well, Deerfield's like that, you know. <laughs> Deerfield. <laughs> so, any other questions for us, for us as no, far thank as you. capital? Thank you. For this. Yeah. this is really good. You good, Roy? Oh, you're on mute. 
Yes, I'm good. So, sorry, it takes me a minute to unmute. Yeah. Uh, yeah, good. Um, I'll make a motion to adjourn the Capitol Improvement Committee. Yeah. Second. Second. All in favor. Aye. 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 Thank you very much. No, not today. You can table it. Oh, Roy's still on there, right? Isn't he on the yeah, finance committee? The <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh, well, no, I'm, I'm sharing screen, oh, so I was okay. going back to here. Um, Thanks, Bob. Thanks, Bob. Thank you. I'm pretty tapped out myself. Well, if I could just, since we have personnel committee here, too, yeah. if I could just at least make my request for the transfer station attendance which I didn't get done before. Right. And Thank actually, you. to be honest with you, the, the, I put reserve fund. There's really nothing on here except just to say I was going to put the same 40000 as we've been doing unless you have another thought. So, I mean, that's pretty. Make your request. Request away. Yeah, OK. Um, all right. So I know we haven't looked at that yet. I guess we'll be doing that next week. But the. Um, the budget's looking better than we thought, and looking at the salary, the FERCOG salary range, right now, you know, our, our attendants are paid $15 an hour, and our um, manager is paid 17 So I had asked Jan to put in a range of 2 through 6% COLA, and when I looked at that for, um, if they're making 15, a 6% is basically 16 anyway. So I said, well, you know what? 16 really isn't that high to begin with. What if I request 17 for the attendance and 19 for the manager? So that is the request that I've put in, um, in here. And then this all gets, uh, sorry. This all gets tabulated on all these. I'm just gonna show you these so that when you look at it, you know what, what's going on here. So. Article 2 is literally just all the tabs on the spreadsheet put together in one place and it shows you, so there's the general fund, right? And it's only going up 1.13 without any colas or salary requests, right? Which is kind of wild. So then I've got Article 2 with the cola. Um, and, oops. So down here is just the COLA and how much it would be. If That's a 6% raise. The general fund is only at 2.8% above last year. But then we have the salary request that came in. I'm splitting all these out just so you can see the different options. It, it's, you know. So then there's the salary requests. And here's the transfer station one where I bumped it up by $5,000. Which tab are you on? I'm on Article 2 um, with salary requests. So with it's just, requests. Okay. just Article 2 without the COLA, but with the specific salary requests that were made by the different departments. Okay, so, so you're putting the salary requests in to the operating budget. Correct. And then you're applying a COLA after that? Well, so I have four of these. That's why I have the budget with nothing, the budget with COLA. cola the budget with just salary requests, and then the final one is the budget with COLA and salary requests. <laughs> so that you could, you guys asked me to do this. So let me just ask you, so I was just, <laughs> just so because there, there's always been sort of, I don't know whether it's written somewhere or it's unwritten, but if the salary request exceeds the COLA, yeah, that, then we've, it's always been the policy then that same, in that same year, that same, line item does not get that both the salary request and the COLA. That, is, so, so that is correct. So this tab that has both, if there is a salary okay. request, it doesn't, yeah. Okay. Okay. So, oh, yes. okay. All right. That, yeah. So I'm not saying that somebody's getting a $6,000 raise and they get 6% COLA, cola on top. Right. right. Okay. Gotcha. This is, no. Oh, excuse me. Salary increase on top. <laughs> yeah. So I just wanted to, because I know it's very busy and there's a lot of information in here. Um, so, so bottom line here, this is with the, um, let me 
see here. Salary and COLA, our personnel costs basically go up 2.27%. Oh, well, that's the total of the entire budget of how much it's gone up. Okay, that's not, that's okay. So not this good. over here, this is the two, three, four, five, six percent COLA combs. And, and, that, and, and the sheet includes COLA with salary increases. Yeah, so in other words, the salary is in here, and then the COLAs are over here, and the COLAs that are included are not reflected in the salary, mm -hmm. which was really fun because I had to go back to the different spreadsheets and I had to do, okay, this one didn't get the COLA, but this one, you know, so. Um, and, uh, you know, unless I've made some horrendous mistake, Maybe. bless you, this right here is how much the percentage, 3.88 of the general fund, that's a 6% COLA with the salary increases, and it's still under 4% for Eric, the entire budget. Eric, on the, on the highway, on the highway, to, if we had originally looked at the budget with the proposed salary increases, the requested salary increases mm -hmm. included. Now, those were taken out of that? I took them out. So, for instance, here, um, highway wages, if you yeah. look at that, that's that's without anything. This is Highway absurd. wages based on the current, current pay level. Right. So, if you look here, up, up top well, here. I, I'm going in three different directions. Okay. So, it's 319 last year, 140, 319, 140 this year mm -hmm. okay. on the just Article 2. So I did take it out. I took out all oh, I see. salary okay, yeah. requests yeah. Yeah. out of just Thank straight you. Article Two. Thank you. Yeah. I just made it level funded because that's what mm -hmm. you guys asked that's, me to yeah, do that's last exactly time. Exactly right. Yeah. yeah. Article Two with cola. And then if it had the cola in it, and I know this takes a lot of looking at, believe me, my eyeballs. Yeah. Oh, we had, we had also okay. recommended of the personnel committee a, a, a wage increase for the CDL operators. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, and so uh, that's not reflected in. Well, it was because Ron had that in his original request. Well, but you've taken it out again. Well, no. When I put in the salary requests, see the highway request here? Oops, I'm trying to make it bigger. Are you maybe. still on the storm? No, now I'm Article 2 with the salary requests. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. Okay. And see highway that wages? Includes, that includes the, okay. That includes So 361 mm -hmm. is where you are now. Right. Yeah. With the with the okay. And then so that was Ron's request, which I believe bumped up both his salary and the CDLs to that the rate. Twenty seven and then twenty. I'm sorry. But the only okay. So, so right now the only recommendation is the is the laborer and the CDL operators. No, that includes. The we did not make a recommendation on. No, you did not. But I put it in there because that was the request that was made. Okay. So I, you know, it, it was yep, just. I see. I see. That's the distinction. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> and that's seventy nine thousand versus seventy three five. Well. Wow. Correct. That was the request that was made. So that is in this one with the salary requests. Thank you. Same thing with what um, the police department requested. Mm -hmm. Same thing with my transfer station requests. And where's the other mm -hmm. one? Oh, and then the um, the town administrator request. Yep. And then the final one was the article two with all of them together. Yeah. So new growth is projected to be about a hundred thousand. I have asked. I have not heard yet. Yeah, maybe, maybe, uh, maybe we can comment sometime between now and April. Yeah, I, I put that request in. No, I think a hundred thousand. So. In, in reflecting on the earlier um, twenty thousand dollars stipend, when we made the motion, we did not specify the source of that in funds. You did not. We talked about it before. It's going to be out of the disaster relief. But if you want to amend the motion to make that clear, we should. Okay. Um, if I could just real quick before we quit that, I wanted to mention that in speaking with both the town clerk and the police department, um, because of certain regulations, it really doesn't work for the constable pay for elections to come out of the police department. They're an elected position. They're not police. It's kind of a different. And everybody we've spoken with has basically said, no, that should come out of elections. So with your permission, I was just going to move that $1,000 back to the elections budget instead of the police department. I thought, I thought we already agreed to do that. Actually, no, it got put the other way. It got moved the other way. Because elections wanted to move to the police. 
I, no, I think we had a discussion here, and we felt it was <coughs> should go out of the budget. police budget. Yeah. yeah. I don't remember. Yeah, yeah. She, it was in hers, and then you all put it back yeah. to the police. But so the town clerk was correct. We should have kept it and just kept the other shot. All right. That seems to be the, <laughs> the best practice. So yes, with yes. your permission, I'll put that back in for next time. Just make the switch. And that was all I had with my budget. So can I amend the previous motion that we made to um, compensate the highway superintendent $20,000 for work in excess of his contract for the July floods to just specify that that payment is going to come out of mm -hmm. the fund that was so the state relief, just, the disaster relief fund that was yeah, established it by wasn't, the state. It, so. was, it, was work, it was extra work necessitated by the flood. It, it, it's, it wasn't in yeah. excess of his contract. Right. Right. It was yeah. part of the yeah. original yeah. damage assessment yeah. that the state yeah. used to award. Yeah. He doesn't have to, to, to specify the right. specify the source of the that source fund. of the funding will be the emergency remediation that was provided to us by the state. So moved. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you for that clarification. Mm -hmm. and, um, we could we could spend another couple hours doing this, um, but, but I'm, yeah, I'm okay. I'm okay if we um, kick the can down the road the next week. Um, yeah. The rest of the stuff. It's a couple just hours. Just make one comment regarding the vote just made for highway superintendent. If you would please notify the highway superintendent prior to the meeting that we have with him next week as a matter of goodwill. Um, sure. And I would like to suggest that the way to notif the way I've always been notified is a verbal notification of the award and then a formal letter. And if you'd like, I'm a paralegal, I'm happy to write the letter for you. <laughs> I don't care who signs it. <laughs> I'm happy to write it. <laughs> so that's a good idea, actually. Yeah. yeah, no, I'm, I'm happy to write the letter. Okay. Basically, we would send him the minutes of... The, well, I need to, to send the minutes of the meeting to Mike to approve doing the payment anyway, so... Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay. I'll, I definitely would have yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, there's no town administrator update, right? There was. <laughs> was. It, it, was yeah. it was comprehensive. But I, I take the hint. <laughs> it will be posted online. Uh, so anything that you'd like to discuss? It's not in my... Yeah. Um, I read it. It's not in my contact. Uh, any it's select board members' comments or concerns that we need to talk about? I know. Mail announcements? Um, next, next meeting. The executive session the 9th, regular meeting, April 10th, no, April 9th. Ac acoustic, I mean, uh, the eclipse, the eclipse so celebration. Eclipse, yeah, the some of us will be gone for mm -hmm. the eclipse on Monday. So. It's we'll supposed to be cloudy, but it's, it's still cloudy. There's still no select board meeting. Tom, well, it's, it's actually the 10th. <laughs> oh, 9th is the 10th. Yeah, 9th yeah. is executive ten. session, so oh, okay. the 10th is the next regular meeting. Right. Yeah. And that's what we're having there. Yeah. And we're meeting at 5 Yes. On the 8th. Yes. Yes. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, you're coming on the 10th at 6.30. Yeah, that's personal. Until you sign in order. By then, the seller's going to go. I will probably see if Chief Bates can make that as well, since we have to meet with him anyway. Are we ready to? Should we, can we adjourn? Yeah. I make a motion to adjourn. Yeah. Second. All in favor? Aye. Yeah. Aye. Thank Aye. you. Thank you, Roy. Motion to adjourn the select board. Wow. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Aye.